little bit. And if Kevin Warren is hired to do his job, will the Bears fire Matt Eberflus during the season? Could this be the first time in their entire existence that they actually let the president make uh, the choice and cut this thing early? Or do they write it out to the end of the year? To answer the question specifically, if Kevin Warren is to be expected to do his job as a team president, this next 10 games is going to be exactly your example of whether or not ownership can overpower a presidency of Kevin Warren. And I have a few tenants in sports that I believe in. And one of the big ones that Paulie doesn't agree with me on is that nothing really changes with your franchise until ownership changes. And I personally big time believe that until ownership changes and the people from the top to the bottom change, nothing's ever really going to change. And he gives me a lot of examples where he's right and it doesn't matter. And I can give him a lot of examples where it does matter. In this specific case, it will tell you everything. Because if Kevin Warren is hired to be team president and he was in charge of a conference in college football that rivals, you know, one specific team in the NFL, like the Big Ten is a is a multi-billion dollar conference, multiple teams and colleges and scholarships and coaches and controversies. This man can run one NFL team. I guarantee it. If his decision is to fire Matt Eberflus and or Ryan Poles by game six or game eight, you need to let him do that. If there's in any way, shape or form a hint of McCaskey interference and Kevin Warren is not allowed to fire them, then you have a problem that will never go away until the McCaskies go away. 